want to thank you for being here with us for this weekly devotional, the weekend devotional. I uh, began reading the Psalms and thinking about some things that he said, but I want us to take this Psalms and I want us to apply it to our life as a child of God, as one who who is a Christian, one who follows Christ. When I began to look at this Psalms, we find that that uh, this one who has written it has, they have fallen uh, and, and began, I guess they've fallen away from God to some point. They've refused to, to look for his assistance. They've refused to call upon him. Maybe they've turned against him some and, and he simply is not there for them. He says he's there for his people. For those who wish to follow him, who wish to give or do his will. But I want us to listen because this one comes in somewhat in anguish and loss and in in being defeated. And then he speaks a prayer to God. You know, I want us to think about this in our life as a Christian. It is a military situation. But in Psalms, the 60th chapter, we're going to read 12 verses. He said, Oh God, you have rejected us, broken our defenses. You have been angry. Oh, restore us. You have made the land quake. You have torn it open, repaired breaches for it totters. You have made your people see hard things. You have given us wine to drink and made us stagger. You have set up a banner for those who fear you, that they may flee to it from the bow, that your beloved ones may be delivered. Give salvation by your right hand and answer us. God has spoken in his holiness with exultation. I will divide up Shechem and portion out the vale of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet. Judah is my scepter. Moab is my wash basin. Upon Eden I shall cast my shoe. Over Philistia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have, re have you rejected us, O God? Do not go forth, O God, with our armies. Uh, you do not go forth, O God, with our armies. O grant us help for the foe. Or grant us help against the foe. For vain is the salvation of man. With God we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our foes. We find many times in the Old Testament where, where those that were his people had turned away from him. They refused to follow him and they began to be defeated. They began to be destroyed. They once again began to look to God. They once again seek his favor. They once again seek to do his will. And they find his favor. That which helps them win the battles they face. I want to take and try to apply that to our life as a Christian. We're not going to be in hand-to-hand -hand battles. We're not here fighting other men. We're here fighting that we might find ourselves in that eternity. But our battle is against Satan. It's against those, uh, uh, in Ephesians, he talks about those heavenly evils, those, those bodies which are against God. How often do we find ourselves facing the battle? Trying to do it by ourselves, forgetting that God exists. Not walking with him, not serving him, not trying to do what we're supposed to do to find the battles overcoming us. You see, it's the same in the New Testament as we have this battle with Satan daily. That we must be walking with God. We must turn to him. We must seek him in all these things. And if we seek him and we live our life for him, it says, with God we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our foes. You see, we must fight the battle. But it's God that is there. It's God who is, who is our genuine weapon, I guess you might say. We look to him for that for that help in time of need, that one who gives us strength, that one who gives us courage to face the battle. We need to look to him. 
But if we're not walking with God, if we're not seeking to do his will, then he may be very far from us. You would see we must be with God for him to be near us. We must be seeking God for him to be near us, for him to help us face these things. I want us to think about that over the weekend and through this next week, that as we face this battle with Satan, as we face the battle with evil, the things that occur, that we face it with God. I want to thank you for being here today. I hope that you can take this way, this with you, that you can use it in your, in your life. You can, you're willing to seek God, that you have God in your life. Seek him, that he might help you face the evils of the world. May God bless you.